and we'll go from a simple piece of paper like you can see here to this a simple seed bag made out of a single sheet of paper let me show you how to make one This is one of the seed bags I've made before. And you can easily open it on one side, like so. And then you add your seeds into it. So then once you have all the seeds in there you want, you simply close it up. And there you have it. Right, write whatever you want to write on it. And then that's your seed bag. Let me show you how I make it. You start off with the paper, you put it down, you fold it in half, just below the other part, so there's a band on top, as you can see over here. You'll then fold that band over the other piece, really over the other half, and then you'll fold that one again. And that is what becomes the bottom of the bag. For example, you can see this strip here which will make sure that um, on both sides, so on this side and on this side, the seeds can't fall out. Next, you'll fold the bottom corner, like so. Do the same thing on the opposite side, like so. Then you unfold each of these sides, and then you flip the paper over to the other side. Now you take the top corner and then you fold it all the way to the end and like so and you can see it should align with the fold that you previously made because that's the part that you then take and then insert behind the band that you created. And then it's thick paper so this one isn't really cooperating nicely but one part, go to the other side, you take the top part, fold it back, that's what it looks like, and then you take the bottom corner and then you kind of fold it in there in the bottom. So depending on the shape of the paper that you start with, you'll get a different shape. So this is a long one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can try and find the shape that suits you. As usual, thanks for watching. And if you have any tips or tricks, feel free to let me know. Thanks.